We've done it again this weekend. We raised the bar, providing you with a more TV broadcast focused live stream with multiple commentators and camera angles to cover the very best our races have to offer. Welcome to another XGR race day. Prime navigating around really nicely, a little nose low, going into the pinch here. Second gamma, relatively close on turn and burn. That's it. It's got about half a straight away here. Yep, it's it's Neo Jet as they're coming through the final turn and see an explosion already. I think that was two ships oh, colliding. No. We've got Seder going through clean. We've got Mark. Oh, Mark away clips the same way Prime did. As we progress toward the end of the year, we continue to experiment with different race setups and track locations. This time, the race took place on Microtech's moon Clio, where pilots race their spaceships through canyons in true pod racing fashion. Welcome to the Snake Pit. I'm actually surprised how many gammas we have here so far. That's awesome. For this race, folk were required to qualify first by setting a time on the time trial leaderboards. Based on the time, we would split the pilots into two races, AM and Pro. The hot topic in the weeks leading up to this race were all in terms of setting track limits for folk crawling above the canyon edges as they sought to set the fastest time. Come race day, we opened the live stream with a half hour chatting all things XGR and racing. If you haven't checked out the Twitch VOD yet, I really recommend you do. You can skip through it as you please and seek out all the hot action and learn a little about our plans for the future of XGR. Hint hint, championships are coming. All right, let's check out some of the hot action around the snake pit. Three, two, one, go. There's Flair. I see Flair. I see Neo Jet with an early start. Then it's Prime. First, we saw the amateur class go at it. This race featured Velvet, Psy Prime, Steve CC, Neo Jet, Euro Trucker, and Numinos. After some early collisions and explosions, it was Psy Prime in a promising lead. However, maintaining his reputation sees him take a nosedive coming out of Drifter's Paradise. There they are. Oh, oh, oh and Prime with the shit! He clips oh, no. the inside turn just after, and that is how Neojet takes the lead. Oh, wow. Neojet then takes the lead, and after seven laps, the victory, earning himself the AM Razor winner tag on Discord. How was that, dude? Congratulations, you won the amateur race after an explosion from Prime. was the best I have done all, all the tries. Awesome, man. Awesome. That was amazing. Dude. Thank you very much. For the pro race, we all had high expectations of Seder, having put in the highest number of submissions to try and tame the pit. Only Arkansas was set to pose any sort of serious contention, but was unfortunately unable to make it come race day. Fired, we see Seder with the first reaction. However, it's Mark 08 with a lot of boost off the line. We're going through clean, we've got Mark. Oh, Mark 08 clips the same way Prime did. I can't believe it. A last minute change saw Data Machine move up from the AM class to the Pro class, however, putting some serious pressure on Seder, who was able to crawl away lap after lap before eventually taking the win. So that's uh, Seder on lap eight now. If he's taking advantage of that, props to him. That's, that's wise to do. Data's definitely holding his own, though, so big props to him as well. Uh, Hell yeah. He definitely he definitely wouldn't have been quite a uh, good fit in the, <laughs> the AM class, I don't think. so. And if we did it right, then we've got Seder going on to his final lap here. Going fast. And there he goes across the finish line to win the XGR Snake Pit Pro Race. Congratulations to Seder. Well done. Congratulations. Data machine across the line in second. And there he is, pitching up, done, beautiful. Look at him putting on a show. Hey, dude, that was incredible. How was that for you? Uh, the first three laps kind of sucked. Couldn't really feel my arms. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> it's just an adrenaline thing, to be honest. I mean, we all know it doesn't really mean anything, but. You, uh, we, we were expecting you to, uh, to do well, and so you did. So congratulations on the win. And uh, I look very forward to seeing you participating in future races because I know for a fact you're one to watch. <laughs> Absolutely.
I, it's a, it was a nice course, man. Uh, and like, thank you guys for finding it because to be honest, the moment I saw this thing, I was just like, that's an actual course that that makes sense. Everything about this makes sense. It's like somebody at CIG just like etched that into the ground. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> In closing then, I think this race day saw us racing the bar yet again in terms of turning this thing into a spectacle and a serious place come race day. There's still a lot of work to do though, and we're now looking at a hybrid setup between the heat system and the AM Pro system to offer a more engaging and fun way to qualify while retaining the split, offering everyone a good race at their respective levels. I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you to make sure that you've subscribed with the bell ticked to make sure you receive all the latest updates and coverages. Also follow me on Twitch to make sure you catch the live broadcasts in the act. We had a total of 50 people watching this weekend, which made it feel incredibly worthwhile for us to have three people commentating the action. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you out there in the verse.